Okay, now six ray diagram convex lens. The object is placed between F and O. That is focus and its optical center. Okay, so the first thing that we are doing here is we will draw the principal axis. Okay, we will draw the lens. Three lines up, three lines down. Okay, and then we are drawing the lens by keeping the protractor on the principal axis. Okay, in such a way that the 90 degrees line is coinciding with the principal axis, and then you draw these two curves. Okay, now at the distance three centimeters on either side, you will mark focus. and then again at the distance 6 cm on the other side on the either side you will mark the center of curvatures or 2f okay now we are supposed to place the object between f and o o is this point that is the center of the lens that is the optical center okay so the object will be placed between these two points now again this precaution has to be taken that the object is not very close to f Okay, so I'm drawing this object say somewhere in the middle over here. This is the position of the object. Okay, I'll mark this as AB. Alright, now I'm supposed to draw the rays to get the image. Alright, the first ray that we are drawing. Okay, this ray is through point A and this ray is parallel to the principal axis. Okay. Any ray that is parallel to the principal axis has to pass through the focus. Alright, so it will pass through the focus. Okay, so this is passing through the focus. Now the second ray that we are drawing. Okay, this ray is passing through the optical center. Okay, and this ray is not going to deviate, it's just going to travel along the same path. Now you can see these both rays on the right side of the lens, it's not meeting, it is going to meet backwards. Okay, so I'm just going to extend these rays backwards, so they are going to meet on the same side as the object is. Okay, so these rays are extended backwards. Okay, now you can see where both of these rays are meeting. Okay, the gray ray, gray colored ray and the yellow colored ray okay these both are meeting here on the same side so this is the point at which both of these rays are meeting you are going to draw this image this is going to be the position of your image okay so this will be drawn dotted now we are going to write down the characteristics of the image okay i'll just draw the image first okay this is going to be a dash b dash Okay, now these rays, how we are going to travel? First, the gray ray over here. Okay, this is parallel to the principal axis, it is passing through F. So, I'll just mark the arrows of the direction in which these rays are traveling. Alright, this is through the principal axis, the ray is traveling and it is going to travel along the same path. And then both of these rays are produced backwards to get the image A dash B dash. Okay, now we are going to note down the characteristics of the image. Now you can see the image is virtual and erect, that's the nature of the image. Okay, size you can see, it's bigger than the object, so it is magnified. Okay, and position is going to be same side as the object is. Once again I repeat, okay, of the precaution that has to be taken, this object that you draw AB, it should not be very close to F, otherwise on the back side it will go out of the page.